This is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com, and this is Tips for the Weekend, November 13th, 2021. Well, I was out shopping today, and obviously Christmas is apparently right around the corner, at least in terms of, of looking at the what's in the stores right now. There are Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, all sorts of things. So it got me thinking that even though we normally wait until, like, Thanksgiving to start the Christmas shopping season, clearly this year is kind of like last year where everyone's wanting to buy things early. So I'm going to talk about what are good geek gifts to give this year. Here's some of my tips. First off, if you are like me where you like books and love to read books, I actually have two kinds of reading that I do. Number one, I never read a magazine on a Kindle, ever. I like to get physical magazines. But when it comes to books, I actually like having a Kindle. And that's Amazon Kindle. And you can get one very inexpensively with um, what's called advertising. And what happens with the advertising is right on the, the initial login screen, there's a little unobtrusive ad for something. And honestly, I usually don't pay attention to it. And with that little advertising, you get a cheaper version. So here's the one that I recommend. I recommend one that's about the size of a paperback book. So like a seven inch, there's a 10 inch as well. Sometimes they get a little bit too big. And I like them lightweight. And this is actually the one I have. And I actually have two of these because I always keep one charged up so that I can swap them around. So when it's needing charge, I can go grab the other one that's fully charged. And because, like I said, on the, the login screen, on the initial login screen, there's an unobtrusive advertisement. To me, it doesn't really bother me. So I prefer the one with slight advertising versus the ones without advertising. It also, like I said, makes a cheaper device. Now here's my Now here's my next advice for a good geek gift. Now this one's a little more pricey, so usually random <laughs> uh, uh, people that you just like don't get this gift. This is a people you have to love to get this gift because it is an expensive gift. It's also a gift you may want to buy yourself, and it's an iPad. Now there's one way that you can get it that spreads the amount over time and that's usually getting it with a phone contract if you have it connected to cellular. Now usually you can get it one of two ways with cellular or without with just um, Wi-Fi connection. And usually what I do is I decide which kind I want. There's two sizes. There's a mini size which is very much like a Kindle and it's a book size. And there's the much larger one. And if you get it with a keyboard, it's very much nearly like a small computer. So you kind of have to decide which form factor you would prefer. The smaller book style that you can take with you, that you can put in your purse and travel with. Or do you want the slightly larger one that's almost like a surface and how it folds out and has a keyboard? Now adding this keyboard does make it quite heavy. So it's again, it's it's you change your use of the device. It no longer becomes the travel device. It becomes more of a, of a more permanent device that you use on your lap. But it's something to think about if, if that's the kind of di device you want. Now, I would watch out if you get used iPads, um, especially if you get them on any kind of like um, marketplace. Be careful. Do your homework. People are now selling out of date and unsupported iPads. So you want to make sure that you get a device that is still fully supported. So do your research. If you have any questions, always ask in the forums. And again, one way to get the device is to look for one with Souther option. This also gives you the ability to uh, be more portable and move and you don't have to rely on a Wi-Fi connection. And last but certainly not least, is it time for a new computer? Now, I would recommend that you actually wait a little bit. Um, and 
if you're getting, if you really need a, a computer right now, this moment, I would make sure my personal take is I would get it with Windows 10 at this time. You can always upgrade to Windows 11 later. Just make sure it will support Windows 11. Always make sure your computer has at least 16 gigs of RAM and at least a 256 gig SSD drive. That's my bare minimums of both of those. Now, I would actually recommend that you wait a bit for a new computer and wait at least six months until some of the bugs get worked through on Windows 11. So if you can wait, I would highly suggest that you do wait and not buy a new computer for this Christmas season. But again, if you absolutely have to buy a new computer, let's say some, your computer dies or it's just time, my take, go with Windows 10 now. You can always upgrade later. And remember, if you want some advice, you can always ask in the forums. I also look around on sites like Tom's Guide, Tom's Hardware Guide, things like that. So tomorrow, I will be actually uh, getting out some of my Christmas decorations myself and will making sure that all of my Christmas lights still work. I know when I put them away last year, some of them actually did need some work and some of the bulbs need to be changed. So I'm going to have my work cut out for me tomorrow. Have a great week. The newsletter comes out tomorrow. Remember, we're still at MS DEFCON 2. At this time, when I do give you the all clear, I do want you to make sure that you're on 21H1. We haven't yet seen 21H2 being released. I don't recommend moving to Windows 11 at this time. And right now we're just waiting to see if everything else shakes out. We're still kind of seeing some issues here and there. You'll see more in the newsletter, my discussions of the patching issues. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com.